Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put together a quick video, just running you through an engine light fault on this 2017 Vauxhall Astra. That's a 1.6 petrol. Basically, basically the issue we've got, the little engine warning light, just this one down there. It's a bit of an intermittent fault. It's not always on. Sometimes it'll be on for a day and then it'll be off. And sometimes just on a journey, it might come on for two, three minutes while you're driving and then it'll go off. It's been intermittent on this one now for about a month, just randomly coming on and off. So um, we plugged it in with the top down diagnostic machine. The fault codes that we're looking into with it that we've got, P0011 and P0014. And 11 relates to the intake camshaft system performance, and 14 relates to the exhaust camshaft system performance. So we'll just get the bonnet open now, just run you through what we found the fault to be and what the fix is for it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. Right, so we're under the bonnet now. The only thing I've done, just take the top cover off. All you need to do is just undo the oil cap. It just sort of caps down and holds the cover on, on that saucer. Um, but with that off, basically the solenoids for the um, for the, the solenoids for the camshaft on the exhaust cam is on this side, and the one on the intake is on this side there. Now they're really they're quite a common issue. Really straightforward to replace. You can just see, you've just got a 10 mil bolt on each one, just holding them in. Um, but these can fail due to poor oil changes, bad oil condition. Just got a genuine GM Vauxhall unit here. I'll put a link to these in the description below. Um, but there is a choice depending on the brand on the old solenoid that's all but you can see they've got like a little filter gauze on them they can get all blocked up sometimes you might might be worth just trying to clean them out um, but the issue that we've got on this one and that's quite a common problem that happens with them the seal inside fails and oil actually seeps through into the connector so if we just get it off i'll just show you just to get it off you've got a little white tab just to flick back and you can give it a pinch up pull the connector up we can just see it's all contaminated with oil in there Basically, the seal's failed. Let's try focus. Oil seeped through the connector into the plug there. And that's actually happened on both of the solenoids. You can just see on this one where it's all sort of seeped through a little bit as well. That's the back one there. So both of these are actually fully contaminated with oil. That'll be causing it to short out in the connector. So all we're going to do now is just fit two new solenoids. We'll just give it a run. We'll give it a run for two or three days to make sure it's definitely fixed the fault. Then I'll update you on the issue. Right, so we've been running the vehicle for a few days now. We've done quite a few miles in it. We've had no issues at all. No engine light on. It's running absolutely spot on. If we go in the engine control module there, see we've got no faults in there, so it's nice and clear. I just thought I'd put this video together in case anyone was struggling with the same fault code. So it depends which one the fault code's relating to, but they're exactly the same solenoids and the fault will happen to both of them. So, um, But yeah, I'll put a link to the to the solenoids and where you can get them from. But you do need to check, you can use the number on the actual old ones to confirm which one yours is. But there is often a choice on the brand of them that's originally fitted, that's all. But if you can just see both of them, just try to show it. It doesn't stand out very clear, but you can just see where the oil's in the bottom of the plug there. So actually come through the pinholes and shorts out in the 
actual plug you can see exactly the same on that one as well there so but yeah i'll put a link to the uh, solenoids in the description or at the end of the video where you can get them from as well if you want to check out any of the tools used or anything like that i'll list them all in the description but yeah i hope you, hope you like the video if you did give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and we'll see you next time